Wildfires were also a topic of discussion in Washington today where senators were briefed on the outlook for the upcoming fire season, which they were told could be another difficult one. While there have been some improvements since last year, officials also said that challenges remain, as Danny Coble tells us from our Washington bureau. That's right. Forest Service and Interior Department officials are saying that they have adequate resources. They have 10,000 firefighters, 900 engines, and hundreds of aircrafts ready. But they're still expecting the 2018 fire season to be a challenging one. The government spent $2.9 billion fighting wildfires last year, the most expensive year on record. And senators say today that 2018 doesn't look to be much better. Almost 24,000 wildfires have burned about 1.7 million acres across the country. And this is just June the 5th. Among the challenges, drought conditions that continue to grip the region make Arizona and the rest of the Southwest high-risk zones for wildfires, witnesses told the committee. Senators on the Energy and Natural Resources Committee called for more aggressive management of fires. That includes more firefighters on the ground, air tankers, fire repellent, and control burns. Per acres burned on a wildfire in August puts more than five times as much smoke as a controlled burn in May and June. But witnesses from the Forest Service and Interior Department noted that Congress increased firefighting funds last year, which should help. One promising new practice is the use of drones to fight fires. Um, we have we have a fleet. I think we're approaching 500 DOI owned drones. But committee members also point to a low tech solution, urging people to be careful since they start more fires than natural causes. So with the 2018 fire season upon us, I want to start with a plea to people everywhere. Just please be smart about fire. We can make a measurable difference in what this wildfire season ends up looking like, and it starts with being careful. Jeffrey Rupert of the Interior Office of Wildland Fire told the committee that fire activity in the southwest is expected to peak in May or June, with a significant large fire potential until then. In Washington, Danny Coble, Cronkite News.